The Paracommando Brigade is an independent special operations force of the Bangladesh Army. This special forces brigade is headquartered at Silat and is composed of two Paracommando battalions. The involvement of special operations units in Bangladesh Armed Forces was initiated by the Bangladesh Liberation War in 1971. From 1974, commando units have existed in Bangladesh Army under various names, mostly in the form of Specialist of Jungle Warfare and Counterinsurgency Units. A separate special operations capable unit of the Bangladesh Army was first officially formed on June 30, 1992, as the 1st Paracommando Battalion, which is the first modern special force of the Bangladesh Armed Forces. Paracommando battalions are administratively part of Bangladesh Infantry Regiment, although they do not share any lineage or tradition. On June 1, 2015, the unit received national standard from the President of Bangladesh. On September 4, 2016, Ad Hoc Paracommando Brigade was formed, and the brigade got its full structure and strength by October 10, 2019. The official flag of the brigade was risen by the Honorable Prime Minister of Bangladesh on October 28, 2020. Do or die is the Paracommando Brigade's motto. This means that they are ready to do any task at any cost and are always ready to serve anywhere at any time. Bangladesh is participating in different UN peacekeeping missions since 1988. Currently, Bangladesh is one of the largest contributors of the UN peacekeeping operations. Bangladesh Army has deployed its special forces in various UN peacekeeping and peace enforcement missions, notably in Ivory Coast, South Sudan, Darfur, Central African Republic, Haiti and Mali. These special forces detachments, using bands prefects, are often tasked with high-risk rescue operations and raids against insurgents. On July 1, 2016, five assailants stormed the Holy Artisan Bakery, with crude bombs, machetes, a 22 rifle and pistols, in Dhaka's affluent neighborhood, Gul Shan 2, which is extremely popular among expatriates and foreigners at roughly 9.20 p.m., taking hostage of the locals and foreigners inside, not realizing the gravity of the situation, the initial assault to secure the premises, commenced by Dhaka Metropolitan Police, resulted in the casualties of two police officers, and exchanging gunfire with the assailants. However, police and the Rapid Action Battalion acted, with celerity in setting up a perimeter around the bakery, to block escape of any assailant. After fruitless hours of seeking to bring a peaceful solution to the problem, when the perpetrators refused to communicate with authorities, the realization set that alternative measures were required. At an early morning meeting on Saturday, 2nd of July, the highest level of government decided to engage the 1st Commando Battalion. They were flown in from Silat to carry out a counter-assault and free the hostages. After gathering intelligence from Rab and the police forces present on the ground, commandos initiated the raid, codenamed Operation Thunderbolt, which began at 7.40 a.m. and concluded at 8.30 a.m. They were successfully able to free 13 hostages and kill the assailants. During the attack, nine Italians, seven Japanese, two Bangladeshis, one Indian, and one American were killed by the perpet. On Thursday, March 23, 2017, the Bangladesh police surrounded a suspected militant hideout in Dakshin Surma Apuzila, Silat, Bangladesh. Later, a SWAT team joined the police unit from Dhaka. The housing complex has two apartment buildings. The police unit was reinforced with personnel from Rapid Action Battalion on Friday. On Saturday, the 1st Para Commando Battalion took charge of operations, and named it Operation Twilight. Operation Twilight was launched by the 1st Para Commando Battalion of the Ad Hoc Para Commando Brigade of the Bangladesh Army, 
under the command of Gik of 17th Infantry Division, in Jalalabad Cantonment Major General Len Warlmoman. The main gate of the building was blocked by the militants, with the refrigerator with a knot attached to it. The building had 30 apartments, and 150 rooms, the militants were constantly changing their location. The operation was launched on Saturday morning around 8 a.m. The commando unit was being assisted by SWAT and Bangladesh police. Security forces established a 3-kilometer perimeter around the militant hideout. The commandos rescued 78 civilians trapped in the building from Thursday. Two militants were killed in the initial attack, one of who detonated a suicide vest. The militants had planted dots all over the building, which slowed down the military operation. Army spokesman, Brigadier General Fakralison, reported that the operation would take more time, because of the presence of IDs in strategic points in the building. The Bangladesh Army used RPGs and shells, to drive the militants out without much, success. The commandos also used armored personnel carriers in the operation. Finally four militants were found dead at the Bangladesh Special Forces, Bands slash 3, in the United Nations peacekeeping mission launched an operation against rebels, in the Central African Republic. Major MD Shahid al-Islam of Bands 3 led the operation, to free an area from the rebel group Unite Por La Paix and Centrafrique, UPC. At the same time, more than 100 prisoners were rescued by the operation. Bangladesh Special Forces, Bansk-3, operating in Minusca, has successfully launched an operation against FDPC armed group, in the Central African Republic. Due to various reasons FDPC stopped movement of all kind, of the vehicles and denied freedom of movement through, the Highway 1 of Central African Republic at Zkumbo village. There were 200-300 houses in the village. The village was used by the FDPC members, and their number were, around 100. After a number of negotiations by minus elements, military operations was seen as the viable means to put an end to this crisis situation. On April 3, 2019, Bansk-3 along, with Banbat-5 were tasked to evict armed group members, from the Zkumbo village and recover 11x pickups, government-owned which were held by FDPC armed group. On February 24, 2019, a Bangladeshi Boeing 737-800 aircraft was hijacked by a gunman on the air. The aircraft was landed to the Chittagong Airport as an emergency landing while it was going to Dubai from Dhaka. A gunman named Palash tried to hijack the aircraft. Though his intention was not clear the authority, was trying to negotiate with him. But when everything was failed, and then government ordered the Paracommando Brigade, to launch an operation. Paracommando Brigade members, came to the place and launched an operation. The commandos took only eight minutes to make a conclusion. As a result, the hijacker was shot dead by the commandos, 148 passengers and crew got free from the hostage situation.